Hello everyone. Today, I'm excited to present the pub progress and updates of Aphelia. First, allow me to bring the latest prototype on stage. But today, I will using this. This is a PlayStation controller, DualSense. Using this controller, I'd like to show you an aspect of the software-defined vehicle. The best part of the Sony electric vehicle debut was how Sony brought the car on stage at CES. Izumi Kawanishi, president and COO of Sony Honda Mobility, used a PlayStation 5 controller to drive the updated Afila on stage in front of crowds at CES. This remote driving demo is for the purpose of the tech sh showcase only. However, we believe that software can define new function and value. We want to redefine the relationship between people and mobility. We aim to revolutionize how people move, making mobility interactive and expressive. At the same time, we like to create and leverage the connection between real and virtual world. Today, I'd like to talk about two topics, AI for ADAS and the mobility as a creative entertainment space. Let me explain how we utilize AI for ADAS. Afira uses advanced sensing devices with image sensors, LiDAR, and radar. Through the use of these devices with AI, we aim to realize aut autonomous driving as well as ADAS. To do so, we will adopt vision transformer for perception and machine learning for path planning. Also, because safety is our top priority, we will have redundant system as needed. Here, we compare object detection using a traditional CNN or a convolutional neural network and vision transformer. As you can see, it's difficult to see hidden people behind the vehicle in backlight or the truck in front of you at night. However, in this case, vision transformer can recognize this with higher accuracy than CNN. Also, Qualcomm Snapdragon Light SOCs play a key role in these AI-based machine learning systems. In addition to Vision Transformer, we are developing the ADAS simulator utilizing gaming technology of Epic Games. Although it looks real, everything is recreated in the virtual space. This tool brings together data from Aphira's many sensor devices and simulated vehicles pedestrians, weather, and the surrounding of environment. From here, I'd like to talk about our initiative to involve mobility as a creative entertainment space. By combining the AIDA simulator with AR, users will enjoy an immersive experience 
In addition, map data can also be used to broaden the possibilities within the development of gaming and entertainment features. In order to bring these features to life, we utilize the gaming engine, Unreal Engine 5. We support the latest Unreal Engine 5, 5.3 and will continue to provide updates. Sony Honda Mobility will provide a digital playground where anyone can create and express their own style within a field. To do so, we plan to establish diverse development environments to force a, foster a create community, creative community among users and creators, allowing access to vehicle data, driving data, and other related information in order to realize unique ideas. Another initiative to make mobility even more creative is the conversational personal agent, which we have started to develop. We would like to introduce our important partner, Microsoft. Now, please welcome Jessica Hawk. Yeah, thank you for joining us today. So, Jessica, what potential do you see in AI technology for a mobility? Well, we've been able to talk to our cars through voice command for quite some time now, right? So what's interesting and promising today is that with the introduction of generative AI and cloud-scaled computing, there is unlimited potential to amplify creativity, increase personalization, and transform the in-vehicle experience. So we're going from buttons on a screen to conversational and multimodal, from siloed apps and manual integrations to integration by default. Instead of the in-vehicle experience feeling like a separate state, you can now bring your digital life into the vehicle with you. And so this is creating so much opportunity for mobility companies as the next generation consumers will seek the type of engaging and hyper-personalized customer experiences that this combination of generative AI and cloud-scale computing is now providing. Mm -hmm. I believe that AI enhances mobility's emotional experience as well. In the evolution of AI, it's necessary to manage the understanding of AI by users and the ethics of AI. What does Microsoft think about this? Well, for mobility, safety and security for the customer and their data are top of mind. We think deeply about our responsibility when bringing any AI technology to market for any industry. It reflects what we want to stand for as a company. We believe that AI systems must be responsible by design. Our investment in responsible AI innovation goes beyond principles, beliefs, and best practices. We've also invested heavily in purpose-built services that support responsible AI across our products. Through the Azure AI tooling, for example, we are helping developers build, evaluate, deploy, and monitor their applications for responsible AI outcomes. So a great example of this is one of our newest project products, the Azure AI Content Safety Service which is based on a collaboration between our research team, our policy groups, and the engineering teams at Microsoft. And so this state-of-the-art AI service helps detect and filter harmful AI-generated content in applications and services, which is creating safer online environments and a much more enjoyable in-vehicle experience. And this is the same technology that we're using in products like GitHub Copilot and Microsoft Copilot. And so all of this is built on Azure's enterprise-grade foundation for data privacy, security, and compliance. So organizations like Sony Honda, Sony Honda Mobility can confidently scale AI while managing risk and reinforcing transparency. And as the landscape of AI evolves rapidly and new technologies are coming to bear in the mobility industry, safe and responsible AI will continue to be a priority. In fact, it's essential. I see. Uh, safety and security are common factors for both AI development and mobility. Yes. Lastly, do you have any expectations for collaborating with Sony Honda Mobility? 
We're delighted to collaborate with Sony Honda Mobility to co-innovate and provide experiences that really wow customers. With Microsoft Azure, we are developing a platform for innovative companies like Sony Honda Mobility to build upon. And with Azure AI, we're providing that safe, secure, and responsible AI, both in the principles that we use to define our approach, and it's also built right into the tooling. And we know at this pace of innovation that is happening here today in this new era of AI, the models are going to evolve, the modalities are going to continue to evolve. And so the Azure AI model catalog includes an extensive collection of the latest models from Microsoft and from other industry leaders. Each model, as you know, offers very unique capabilities, giving developers a broad range of choice for their generative AI projects, which we think is very important. And so by partnering with Microsoft, Sony Honda Mobility can bring their wealth of industry knowledge, connections, and relationships understanding of what in customers expect and want from an in-vehicle experience to their platforms. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Please look forward to seeing Afira gaining intelligence and evolving though, uh, through expect, uh, interactions with people. Finally, I have one more item. We have teamed up with Polyphony Digital. Combining their simulation technology with our development expertise, our focus is to incorporate human senses and emotion into development. We aim to further explore new methods of mobility development by merging virtual and real world experience. Today, I have shared two topics, AI for ADAS and mobility as a creative entertainment space. We will continue to redefine the relationship between people and mobility through the power of technology, aiming for the transformation of mobility lifestyle. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you, Kawanishita. With our partner, Honda, we're excited to bring our unique chemistry to the market. Sony's potential is unlimited when we work alongside creators. This includes the creation of today, creator of today and the creator of tomorrow. This photo of the Earth was taken by young creators in Japan using our nano satellite. Through our Star Sphere project, we are expanding the creation space to the universe. We are also focused on building communities that can help create equity and social cohesion. In this way, the kind of experiences we hope to create can also be a force for good. People are at the heart of creativity. We embrace their ideas and elevate their stories as we continue to power creativity with technology. Thank you for being with us today. Enjoy CS. <laughs> <laughs>